Hi, welcome to this tips and tricks video. I have uh, showing here an example of a natural convection model that is difficult to converge in COMSOL. In fact, using the default physics controlled mesh and the default solver settings, it does not converge without some help. And this is a common problem or issue that you would run into in solving nonlinear multiphysics analyses. And I want to show one tip for being able to help troubleshoot that uh, models like this. So I'm going to display the model here that's built with the appropriate physics and boundary conditions and the default physics controlled mesh with a normal element size. If you try to compute a solution, you'll see that it fails to provide a converged result. You can track the progress down here in the green bar. And eventually you'll get an error message that says return solution is not converged. You could look at the convergence plot here and see that the error in the system does not drop below the pre-specified relative tolerance of 10 to the power minus three. And so after 150 iterations, the solver returns an error message that it's not converged. Now, one thing that you might note is that you can, you might try to allow the solver to iterate further because we're kind of trending in the right direction and reducing error. So you might try to, on the fully coupled feature, change the maximum number of iterations to a thousand and try solving again. and seeing what happens. And hopefully this might give you a converged result. We can track the convergence plot information here. We can also track in the log, the convergence information, the solution-based and the residual-based error are these second and third columns. But you'll see eventually that that still doesn't work. The one thing that if you ever tried to react to these non-convergence issues is that if you are iterating for a whole lot of iterations past about 150, 200, you can see if you scroll up, you lose the header information because eventually as console prints the log data, there's a limit on the amount of data that's stored in the log. And so you can't see the headers of each of these columns. You also lose the number of degrees of freedom and uh, the scaling of the dependent variables. So that can be kind of frustrating. And so I want to show you a tip for how to adjust the preferences in console version 6.1 in order to avoid that. And the way you do that is by clicking File, Preferences, and then going under the User Interface section, Log and Messages section, and you'll see this edit field here, log window size characters. It's set to 30,000 by default whenever you install the software. I like to increase this by a couple orders of magnitude and uh, click OK. And now the next time that you run an analysis, we can clear out the log and I'll, I'll show you this. The next time you run an analysis, you won't lose that header information. So now I'm, I'm gonna recompute the same attempt and I can check the log here. Now, it's still not going to converge, unfortunately. But uh, the idea here is that uh, at least we're able to scroll back up to the top after this fails to converge after 500 or so iterations. You can scroll all the way back up and you're, you haven't, console hasn't truncated this original header information where we can look at the scales and make sure our scalings are appropriate. Maybe that was the issue that was causing the non-convergence. We could double check that, see the number of degrees of freedom that the nonlinear solver was engaged, et cetera. So hopefully that tip has been helpful to you. And um, you might also know that um, in, you might also note that in previous versions before version 
it was in a different location. You would click File, Preferences, General, 30,000 for the log window size. This is where it was before, but uh, now in version 6.1, they've changed the location here. So it's under User Interface, Login Messages, and then the setting is here. Thank you.